Agent Carter, Season 2, Episode 8, Thoughts. This episode is called The Edge of Mystery. Another episode I love. Spoilers of everything MCU leading up to and including this episode, but not for anything MCU that came out after this episode first premiered. And, yeah, so right before we dive in, usually the, the there's... So on the IMDb entry for this episode, there's like these eight photos. Almost all of them are of Jack Thompson in the office. And like three of them are him listening in on the call. So somebody really liked that look, apparently. Anyway, yes, let's dive in. So yeah, we open on a flashback and we see a little more of... You know, this is from this is the from the pilot, I believe, the pilot episode, and yeah, we're seeing what happened after Edwin hung up the phone, and we're also seeing Anna's reaction to that. So, yeah, like legit, she has been worried for Edwin this entire time, like all. All the adventures we've seen them on, yeah, she has been concerned that he would end up hurt. Which, yeah, you know, she heard that, um, what's it called? She heard the, she heard the details of the nitramine, the, the, you know, it, it'll take out a city block or something like that. So, yeah. And... Yeah, the flashback ends as he finds, you know, he's trying to find, what was it, ben Benny Goodman or something like that, and we go back to the, yeah, to 1947, where the, the rest of the episode is set, and, you know, he can't get anything on there other than Groucho Marx, and then he breaks the radio, which tells me he is not the biggest fan of Groucho Marx. No, seriously, though, really good acting. Uh, we have never seen Edwin this, like, distraught before, and James Darcy does fantastic acting, completely convincing. You really feel the, the depth of his, yeah, his, his love and his protectiveness of Anna. And, yeah, you know, what happens when, when someone who feels that deeply after the the person they want to protect has already gotten hurt you know nothing he does can prevent the fact that she already got hurt so understandably he wants revenge and yeah so Jason Dr. Dr. Wilkes comes too and yeah Whitney is just sitting there like you know, just taking notes, you know, because she's fascinated by this. And I really appreciate, like, seeing the scene, you know, yeah, we 100% we believe that he is still working with, you know, that, that he is happy to, to work with, with Peggy again later. So it, it's, you know, it's a big surprise that he grabs the shotgun and points it at her. But, yeah, you know, the apparently that voice that they hear guiding them is very powerful. And, you know, it's not like we see, we don't watch him every moment. There's a possibility he's stealing bread. And, let's see, let's get him to her. So, yeah, they talk about Man Freddy, who's a... Maniac in love. Yeah, that's... Holy crap, he, he killed people when she broke up with him. That's intense. And... Let's see. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they go to, to talk to, to Manfredi. And the guy in, in front won't let them through. And so we have this fight scene taking place in the background... As Joseph and his mother argue about him changing the the recipe, and just yeah, it's it's very fun. And and apparently Jack, I I guess he was just like he seems stone cold sober 
once he's actually looking at the document. So I guess he's just... I mean, are we certain he's not part elf? Because I've never seen anyone that unbothered by liquor next to someone who's completely knocked out by it who wasn't an elf. But yeah, the you know, he's like, so, uh, did you get that document from the MI4? MI5? It's MI6, obviously. Coincidentally, also the best Mission Impossible movie. And... Yeah, he's got this thing that allows him to, to see through the redacted parts. Very, very cool. And, yeah, great scene with Peggy, Sousa, and Joe Manfredi. And, you know, she likes you. You, she thinks, is Satan. And, you know, the the... Yeah, it's, you know, so, Tommy something is leaving prison soon. I bet he won't be happy to hear that you, you're the one who testified against him, but that's not true. You won't know that. <laughs> and Mom, just, like, grabs a knife and tries to stab, and it's like, I mean, someone watched Psycho, holy crap. And... I like it. so so yeah. Wilkes is looking through the the notes that Whitney Frost took. He says, "So, what do you think? I think you've killed more rats than rat poison." And let's see, yeah, and and we see <clears throat> Edwin, you know, making Anna many many promises, you know, which. Jeez, you know, maybe, maybe it wasn't so bad. I'm joking. And the, I, I like her line, you know, I, I woke up at the, the dog. I wanted to see what else I could get. And, yeah, we learned that she can never be pregnant. Which is, of course, really upsetting news. Unless you weren't planning on it and you know you needed a very dependable <laughs> prophylactic um and and yeah you know he he tells the doctor that you know he's going to be the one to to tell her but then actually you know yeah he he doesn't tell her wait at the end it seems like he's essentially hope you know expecting it to be like a suicide mission is he just figuring she'll never I mean I guess back then not and there were a lot of women who weren't remarrying but that seems I guess maybe he told Rose to tell maybe that was in no cuz he yeah and anyway um let's see. yeah I he it must be that he figures it would be better for her if he die and she never know that she can't biologically reproduce anymore. It's, yeah, anyway. And then we have the... <laughs> I see you learned my first name. I sure did. What's my middle name? No one knows. And we've been working together for 12 years in the same office. And... Let's see... How? And yeah, we have the line about sacrifice. And let's, oh, hold on. Oh, never mind. I think I skipped ahead a little bit. Yeah, we get yeah the the specs for the you know. Did he tell you to build it? Do you see anybody else here who can do it? Well, Sam really is really like he's he's. Got the. I, I really appreciate his confidence. Samberly, you are on my last nerve. <laughs> that, that was very funny. With the you know, so the thing and and just the look on his face and and there was a point where he had a line something like, "I hate that you asked me that." I hope that means yes. 
and yeah, um, Thompson talks to to Peggy yeah, like his Three Stooges reference, and yeah, you know she points out this is an obvious forgery, and I wasn't really expecting her to tell him you're better than this, but yeah, I mean he has recently been well. Not this season so much, but the, near the end of season one, he seemed to be becoming a better person. And I like that Manfredi is like, you shouldn't hide the, the zero matter. That is power. And that's, some, you know, that's something he's attracted to, of course. <clears throat> Let's see... And yeah, the 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 klutz drops the the fake rods, you know, and yeah, Whitney of course realizes they're fake, and let's see, yeah, and and yeah, Jason gets his hands on the shotgun and points it at Peggy, and you know, yeah, Sousa refuses to. Just let him take the shot. Tells him where the uranium rods are, and you know he yeah he he phases through the, uh, the yeah through the car and gets into the car that you know Whitney Whitney's people I guess Manfredi's people are in, and we get some more excellent just prime Kurtwood Smith. This is an official report, and that means that what's in it is true, whether or not it actually happened. Just, just yeah, fantastic. Really well-written, really well-delivered. Just, yeah, the, I will never tire of seeing Kurtwood Smith play just absolute dirt bags like I'm sure he is a lovely person in real life a lot of the actors who play just monsters on camera are wonderful people but just he's he's so good just yeah and yeah and Jack listens in on the call but does end up neuralized and but he he wrote down the coordinates very very clever and yeah uh, Sousa and and Peggy talk about you know can they actually trust Jack you know there was that thing about two hours ago you tried to blackmail me with a forgery yeah and 20 minutes ago I got my mind wiped and yeah as you know before they they leave Peggy you know yeah Sousa tells Peggy, you know, if you need to, to kill, you know, Dr. Wilkes, it's important that you take the shot. And she's like, oh, we're doing this? We're doing this. Because you're the one who just gave up incredibly important information. And, you know, yeah, he, he asks, so you would have let him shoot me. And then Jack butts in, if it helps, I would have let him shoot both of you. Now, can we go? Just and let's see. Um, yeah, and then we have the yeah. So, um, Jarvis. Edwin tells Rose, you know, can you, you know, take care of Anna while I'm, while I'm away, you know, and she's like, oh, sure, because she's thinking, oh, you know, while the mission is, yeah, sure, I can sit next door in, in the hospital bed, I get that, you know, but then, and then he's like, here's some recipes, and she's like, how long are you expecting to be gone exactly, just... And, yeah, you know, she sees the, I th yeah, I think that's when she sees the will. We, the audience, don't see that it's the will just yet. Only at the very end of the episode, but, 
yeah, and you know she does say, you know, I will take, I I will keep her safe. And <laughs> I love fireworks, just fire. <laughs> I love the look Vernon gives him. Like, do we need to work with him? Is that strictly necessary? And. Yeah, and then the, yeah, we have the explosion, and Dr. Wilkes gets sucked in, but Whitney is abandoned on the, you know, and she straight up, you know, she shouts, what about me? You know, because this is the thing, she's always being overlooked in favor of men. You know, her mother seemed to care more about that creepy bud guy than her, you know, and, and yeah, the only way she could have this science thing is if she was doing it in secret, you know, so, yeah, this is, yeah, this is not exactly something that she is just happy to let happen. And, yeah, Dr. Dr. Samberley explains, you know, the, this machine only has one shot, one opportunity. Which brings up very nicely, I think it is hilarious that apparently there was just very recently, I guess yesterday maybe, there was this, like, um, I guess concert... <laughs> in Fortnite with Eminem which like as far as I understand Fortnite is like there's a bunch of teenagers playing that so you know even in just the there's like a there's a YouTube video on Eminem's own channel that you know had some like promo for it and yeah they I mean they had to censor a lot so that's yeah but you know, at least the you know in the in the promo, certainly there was some. It was some of his best music that they were playing, apparently. So that's that's good. At least I guess we're you know it's yeah. Moving on, um, let's see. Yeah, and and you know, Edwin shoots Whitney. And, you know, Manfredi almost has him shot, but Whitney is, a, I guess, now bulletproof, which, holy crap, how are they going to stop her? You know, and, yeah, she says, you know, the, the best way to control Dr. Wilkes is to control the people he loves. And also Edwin Jarvis. <laughs> no, you know, obviously, Wilkes cares about Edwin as well. And the just, yeah, really, really looking forward to seeing what happens next. Very, very, I really appreciate it. Like, every episode gets us a little bit closer, a little, a little bit further. And just, yeah. Um, right, so some, uh, yes, IMDb. Trivia for this episode. Let's see. <clears throat> uh, the book Agent Carter Season 2 Declassified it features a poster hanging outside the theater. It features a drawing. Uh, uh, that sounds like a spoiler, so I'm not going to. Um, right, Peggy refers to the massacre of some gangsters tying Whitney to the killings and to her former relationship with a mobster. These are vague nods to the wave of murders in Los Angeles in the late 40s and early 50s of associates of organized crime boss Mickey Cohen, as well as the 1950s and the relationship of A-list movie star Lana Turner with ma mafia enforcer Johnny Stump Anato. In a sensationalist murder trial, Turner's daughter stabbed and killed Stominato when he attacked her mother. Whitney Frost is a vague amalgam 
of Turner and Movie Star slash adventure inventor Hedy Lamar. Right, Lana Turner. Yeah. Um let's see. Yeah. Um so there are two episodes left. So yeah. Um really excited to see what you know what changed about Jason and or Do Dr. Wilkes and the um let's see. I said I don't mean to be disrespectful. It's just it's you know here in Denmark we don't really do the thing. I don't remember ever being asked by a doctor to call them doctor and last name. We we just we go by first names. So, but I realize that's considered disrespectful, and I really don't want to be a white guy on the internet seemingly disrespecting a black person who is way more educated than me, even if he is fictional. So, yeah, that's what that's about. And, yeah, you know, it's a very cool effect with, like, it looks like there's something under his skin, like, moving. Just very, very cool. Um, yeah, that is it for this one. So... I will try to do a video on an episode tomorrow, and I think, yeah, really looking forward to more of these characters. Looking forward to more peak Kurtwood Smith. <laughs>